to keep this short and sweet. I'm going to share with you my five life-changing hacks to keeping up with laundry. So if you struggle with laundry like I once did, this video is for you. If you implement these five things, laundry is going to be effortless. Hack number one, a load a day keeps the monster pile away. As a family of five, we don't produce enough dirty clothes to do a load a day, but doing a load a day keeps my routine the same every day. So I know I wake up, I get ready, I start a load of laundry. When I am out of clothes or maybe don't have a full load of clothes, I will throw in some bedding or I'll do laundry rugs or something like that. There's always something that needs to be washed, always. At least once a day. Do I fall behind? Definitely. So if I miss a day, which happens, you know, once or twice a week, the next day I'll do two loads of laundry. And honestly, two loads of laundry is not that much more work than one load of laundry if you're already doing it. The next time you go to fold and put away a load of laundry, I want you to time yourself on exactly how long that load takes. My guess is it'll probably be less than five minutes, even if you folded everything. This was two loads of laundry that I needed to fold. Took me less than five minutes for both loads. Sometimes we build the job up in our hand and it's really not as bad as you think it's gonna be. But when you're a marathon laundry doer, like I once was, it was a big task and it put us off so much from doing laundry. And what did that do? It created the monster load, which created the monster folding sessions. But doing a load a day, you will learn, okay, folding and putting away, that took like three minutes of my time. I wake up in the morning, I throw a load in. At some point during the morning, afternoon, I'll throw it in the dryer. Once that's done, at some point, I'll throw it in a basket. Which brings me to hack number two. I do not fold kids clothes. Yeah, I don't fold them. I actually learned this from Jordan Page from Fun, Cheap, or Free, and she doesn't fold her kids laundry. She just has them Put their own clothes away and they laid in the drawer. I do fold Stephen and I's laundry because it just stores better. You can fit more in the drawer when it's folded. But for kids, your drawers are not going to be packed full of kids clothes. They're little, so they're not going to take up as much space. I have been using this hack for a year now. Their clothes are not wrinkled. They don't come out wrinkled. It's something that they can manage and it's less for you to manage. Some may call it lazy, but I call it working smart and not hard. I usually send up all three kids in one basket of clothes. They sort it amongst themselves and then they put it away. There are hangups. They know, you know, they hang up sweaters and jackets and dresses and those sort of things. But everything else, you know, are like leggings and t-shirts and they don't need to be folded. Okay? They don't. I'm telling you, you'll enjoy laundry so much better if it's less work. Along with doing a load of laundry a day, this is a good opportunity to get your family in the habit as well of bringing their dirty clothes to the laundry room. So when you go to start a load, make that your time also to call out your family. Bring down your load of clothes. I know for us, that's usually the time my kids are upstairs anyway, getting dressed for the day, getting ready for the day. So they know when they're done doing that routine, they bring their clothes down to me and that keeps clothes from piling up upstairs. Steven's really good about this too because I tend to peel off my clothes and leave them on the floor and he is so kind to just pick those up for me in the morning. <laughs> and when he doesn't, I'll do it, but, but I've noticed that's one way that he helps out on the laundry front for us. My next hack doesn't necessarily make doing the laundry easier, more than it does helping your family stay organized. We keep our seasonal items together as a family. In my closet, you can find all of our swimsuits. If you saw our master closet reset, we redid our swimsuit system in there. That's where we keep our beach towels. Winter time, we're in Texas, so we really only need jackets. Every year I buy them beanies and gloves and everything, but when you homeschool, you tend to stay inside. You don't have to go out early in the morning to school and do those things. Really, as our family, we just need jackets. So we're lucky on that front. But if we did live in like a northern state where there was a winter, we would most definitely have the same system where we would keep 
hats and gloves and heavy jackets in our room. So everybody knows to go there. I can keep it organized when I'm when they do get washed, I can just put them right there. We're not searching the whole house and 500 different spots looking for everybody's things. We just don't deal with that. It has been a sanity saver. And last but not least, this is the newest hack that I have implemented in our home. And that is keeping the socks the same. I actually saved my basket of socks here. I do have to go through it before I dump it and I also believe that some of our new socks that we're keeping have been mixed in. We're gonna go through it real quick and then we're gonna put the rest up on Facebook Marketplace, see if anybody can use them. We're gonna give them maybe a couple of days and then if nobody can use them, we are gonna toss them. I know, I know. Somebody's gonna tell me I'm wasteful. This is a decade or more of not throwing away. So it, it's a lot. Some of you suggested to use these as like one-time cleaning mitts for those extra messy jobs. I wish I would have reserved a few of those for that, but it still feels good to just start from ground zero on my sock system. All right, after going through all the socks, taking out what's left in there, I did make an exception for fuzzy and wool socks. These are the new socks that I got, Steven from Sam's Club. Came in like a package of 10. And then I saved like some wool socks for him to wear with his boots. Fuzzy socks, cause sometimes I like to sleep with those and same with the girls. I only saved adult size socks. I got rid of all the little girl fuzzy socks. Here's my pile of girl athletic socks. And this is Eric's pile. I did buy him new socks. These are the new ones I bought him. I struggled getting rid of his. It's not really necessary to get rid of his because he's one kid. He has his own set of socks. So my thought is if I just keep the sets that I have matches to at this moment in time, then we can move forward and then maybe eventually just switch to this style sock. Nah, we're gonna get rid of these. We're gonna put these in here. Okay. So make that easy. Now what I'm going to do is post these on Facebook and just say, hey, I have a basket of socks. There are matches in there. If you feel like sifting through them, if you need them for a craft projects, whatever, they're yours, come and get them. I'm a part of some groups where you can just put your stuff up for free and somebody will come and take it. So that's what I'm gonna do. We'll see if anybody takes it. If not, I'm going to release myself of the guilt of throwing it away. I just posted. And not even 10 minutes, somebody's taking the socks. Hopefully this encourages you to toss the mix, mix. Hopefully that encourages you to toss the mix match bin away. Pass it on to someone who might use it. Grace, Ella, and I, we share socks. On a package of adult socks, it says shoe sizes from four to nine or 10 or something like that for women. I'm here to tell you Ella wears a size two and she wears my socks. I keep the socks in my drawer. We're not having to look in all the different drawers for socks and it's just a community pile. Eric, he still has toddler size shoes, but his feet are growing fast enough that he'll be up there too. So him and Steven can hopefully share. Some great places to buy socks in bulk. I found Sam's Club had it's a really good price on socks. I actually bought the girls and I socks at Five Below. You can find the no-show socks. We like the no-show socks. And then we have also regular tennis shoe socks that we like that are just more comfortable, I feel like. It's kind of hard to find the no-show socks all in one color, turns out. I buy the like kind and they can wear it mismatched. I'm not going to let that perfectionism get to me. Anyone else have that sock OCD where you have to have your socks matching? I've struggled with that. At the end of the day, they're at least the same type of socks. They have the same designs on them. They're just different colors. So I just let them grab. They don't have to match. They don't have to match. They don't have to match. I keep telling myself that. They don't have to match. And that's it. Let me know down in the comments which ones you already do or which ones you'd like to try. I know laundry can be a fussy, fussy chore. Anytime I see somebody struggling with laundry, I just wanna be like, you gotta try this, you gotta try this. I know the struggle. I've been there. And I feel like I have found the secrets to keeping 
your laundry under control. If you like this video, please let me know down in the comment section. Say hello, let me know that you were here, where you were watching from. I do a lot of motherhood related content, cleaning, decluttering, cooking, all that jazz. So if you are into that kind of content, you know, let's be friends. I've picked out a couple of videos for you here today. So if you're not done with me yet, go check them out. Other than that, you know the drill. Go say something kind to yourself and we will see you in the next video.